don't know if I'm the only one who does this, but you ever come across a clip or a video on YouTube that's so good, so inspirational, just completely clicks for you and changes the momentum of the day. And you're just like, I gotta add this to a playlist. Well, that's exactly what just happened when I saw Kevin Hart talking about miserable people. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is for anybody who wants to improve their mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, this morning I was sipping on my coffee, just chilling, and I kept getting recommended like clips from the Joe Rogan Experience podcast with Kevin Hart. And they had a clip, um, a segment, it's about 10 minutes uh, long, I'll link it down in the description, about how being negative is cool. And I'm like, well, this is something I've always seen. But anyways, they talk about that. They talk about negativity being cool. People yeah. want to see the anger. Yeah. And, and you know, where- Why do you think that is? Because it's just the times. It's, it's, that's what's cool now. What's is that cool, what it is? What's or cool is, is being negative. You know how you always have some people, this is a great example, how you have people, me and you can talk about a movie, right? We can talk about Titanic. Wow, man, Titanic, one of the biggest movies of all time. Great movie. You'll go, yes, it was a great movie. And one guy, for no reason, go, I f hated it. <laughs> <laughs> you, why? You ain't like Titanic? And bullshit. Now, there's a few things to unpack from there, and I'm gonna try to not to make this video like 30 minutes, because I honestly could. But yeah, negativity is this thing. It's not only is it cool, but it also grabs attention. And that's one of the, the issues with, with YouTube, with um, online news outlets and everything like that. You gotta make these, uh, these headlines, these titles that grasp somebody's attention. Like, it sucks, but that's the reality of it. People are more likely to click on something that they think is gonna be negative. But anyways, they go on to talk about how negativity is cool, right? And Kevin Hart makes a joke about how like he'll be talking about Titanic and how great Titanic was, and then somebody's like, Titanic sucks, right? And there's always people who, who go against the grain because they think it's cool. They think that's a cool thing to do. Like, if you want a better example of this, look at the rise of hipsters, right? Like, isn't that what we all like kind of laughed about and giggled about, like hipsters who thought everything like wasn't cool or it was cool like ironically and everything like that? Like. That's the thing, a lot of people will go against what is popular. And a lot of these people miss out. Like that's from my experience. Like growing up, I used to be one of those people. I used to be like, I only watch indie movies. I only listen to underground bands, right? And all these other things. And like I had to interject and throw that out there. You know what I mean? Like I couldn't go with the flow of everything. It's not cool to be positive it's not cool to be happy i don't know if it's a cool thing i think it's usually people that are really frustrated with their lives 100 uh, percent. I mean, like, that's the that's the factual side to it I, yes. I did a joke before it was like do you think michael jordan leaves youtube comments I'm like i bet he doesn't no <laughs> no. <laughs> no that's not for winners no the, 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 not the, at all the type of people that want to get mad and complain constantly <laughs> about shit like that do you know what it takes to do this right here <laughs> Not much. Do you know him right here? Yeah. I'm going to tell you how I feel. Then they go on to talk about that right there. Like negative comments. Negative comments right there. And this is something that I've experienced just since being in the public light. And YouTube wasn't my first go at this. Like I used to be a professional esports writer and see those things. And it wasn't until, you know, um, years later when I got sober and I started working on my mental health. And it's something that I think about all the time, all the time. Like, like, don't get it twisted. Like, I sit there and I look at these comments and you can see, you can see the same people on every single video. And I sit there and I look and I'm like, what is going on in your life? Like, and I, and I try to have some empathy for that. So if any fellow creators are watching this right now, like, think about that for a second. Like, it can be a struggle, but I try to develop empathy. And I'm like, what's going on in your life where, like, one of the bright spots of your day is following you know somebody around and leaving nasty comments like what is going on in your life and like that's what bums me out a lot about my channel and everything that happened was one of my missions one of my goals was to help people quit watching just any kind of content passively or reading content or just experiencing things passively 
and to kind of take from it and learn things from it and say, what can I learn from this? What can I take from this? And when I read these comments sometimes, I'm like, what is so awful in your life where you don't want to take a look at yourself? Like, why are you constantly commenting on other people and what they're doing that you don't want to take a look at yourself? I see that regularly, right? Now, some would argue that that's what my old content was doing was I was looking at other people. But a lot of you don't see what goes on behind the scenes. A lot of you don't see the other things that I'm doing throughout the day. Like, I am uploading a lot more and I'll talk about that um, in, a, in another video. But here's the thing, like yesterday I had a magnificent day and I put out three videos. That day included seeing a movie with my son, going out to dinner with my son and my girlfriend, watching Santa Clarita uh, Diet, um, playing video games. Like I did all sorts of stuff yesterday, so don't get it twisted, right? But the perception of this is that I'm not doing anything to work on my mental health, which is an illusion. It is a very, very big illusion. So anyways, like if you're somebody who is miserable and leaving these types of comments, whether it's on my videos or somebody else's videos, like ask yourself that question, like what is going on in your life where you don't wanna take a look at yourself? So everything else from the outside that comes in, you're, you're, you're throwing shit at a, at, a, at a bubble that can't be popped. Mm. It's a force field around me. Yeah. It's a force field around me because what matters, what really matters, loves me wholeheartedly and when you have that and you understand that you're unbreakable now kevin hart right there he talks about this force field that he has this force field and he's created that with his support group and everything like that and here's the thing when you develop that force field ain't nobody ruining your sparkle and this video isn't about me this video is for you like i want you to look at these things like people are going to be pissed off at how happy you are and don't let them take away that sparkle, baby girl. Don't let them take away that sparkle. Like, you gotta keep working on you and having these things, having these positive influences in your life, having people who have your back no matter what. Have people who will call you out on your crap so you can learn from it and grow from it. But when you have this force field, all the other negativity just bounces right off of it, all right? Because at the end of the day, you're gonna keep doing you. You're gonna keep thriving and succeeding and moving forward. And the other people who refuse, who absolutely refuse to take a look at themselves are going to stay in a perpetual state of misery, all right? Like all of you, pff, you've had jobs or maybe you're a, a college student. Hell, maybe you're a high school student right now, right? Like look at people who are just nothing but negative, have nothing but negative things to say, and try to develop empathy and ask, what's going on in their life? What is this thing that's hurting them? Why are they so negative? Why are they so miserable? Because what I've realized, and this is somebody that I used to be, I've mentioned it in some previous videos, I used to get pissed off at other people's happiness. And you know why? Because my life was miserable. It was absolutely miserable. All right, so all I could do was try to bring others down with me because misery loves company. So if you're somebody who has these negative people like in your work environment, maybe your home environment, maybe your school environment, whatever it is, remember, misery loves company and people are going to try to bring you down with them, all right? But don't let that happen. Surround yourself with positive people, with positive influences, people are who are gonna have your back. And when you are struggling to see the light at the end of the tunnel, that is where your support group comes in and they are there to show you that light at the end of the tunnel. It's so easy, but some people choose to throw that aside and kick while you're down. Mm. I try to put out the light of positivity because whoever's out there, you, I don't know what it could do for somebody else. But somebody else may just simply look at me and say, yo, the way that he embraces his kids makes me want to be a better father. Yo, the way that this man doesn't stop and the way that every day he wakes up and he's just positive regardless of what's going on makes me realize that this shit ain't so bad. The way that he gets up and says, hey, today's another day. It's a morning. Let's all be better than we were yesterday. Somebody probably needed to hear that. The more that I can give that out and I can take my platform to throw good energy out, I'm doing my part. That's the last clip from this segment that I want to show today is because some people get it messed up. Some people get it messed up and think all of this is about me. One of the reasons that I haven't quit 
one of the reasons that I haven't given up, one of the reasons I have this big dumb smile on my face, one of the reasons I can still rock this purple unicorn shirt like a boss is because I'm here to be an example of others. That no matter what people throw at you, no matter how much you screw up, you keep moving forward, all right? And maybe this message isn't coming across clear right now while I'm still only hmm, about a month out from all of my, my BS, right? But like months from now, I want people to look back and say, dang, Chris didn't give up. Chris didn't give up even though people wanted him to give up, right? Not only people in the community, but I've had friends, family members, other people like that, people who aren't part of my force field, who aren't part of that thing that deflects all the negativity, where they're like, Chris, why don't you just quit doing this thing? Just stop, just stop doing this, go do something else, right? What kind of example would I be to others, okay? And Although my videos are getting less views, there is somebody out there who's been watching all these videos and I hope it's making an impact on their lives where they're like, dang, Chris is still hustling. Chris is still moving forward. Chris is still trying to do this thing and put out a message of hope for other people. And that's one of the things that gets me up every single morning to get to work and start putting a message out there and try to have people take a look at their own lives and see what's actually going on. So if you're watching this, don't worry about me, but just know, just know everybody out there, like when you're getting the negativity thrown at you, like have a little empathy, take a look and just be like, what is going on in this person's life? And if you want to, maybe ask them how they're doing, maybe have a conversation with them. All right, but anyways, anyways, there's another clip of Kevin Hart that I'm thinking about doing on uh, a video on, and it's talking about like work-life balance because that dude can hustle. But honestly, after getting to know him a little bit better through different interviews and things like that, like this dude is a great positive role model for people. And I really, really, really hope more people get to know a little bit about what goes on inside the mind of Kevin Hart, all right? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below, do you have people in your life who are trying to bring you down, all right? And, and I want you to think about like, what's going on in their life that they're so miserable that they're trying to bring you down? Okay, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get exclusive perks and benefits and all that stuff, click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.